how do you take so much data and then still be able to make it actionable? And what insights have you been able to sit there back and say, okay, now that I have a much better holistic picture of what's happening, how have you seen that help you improve performance or reduce costs outside of the fact of, yes, we get the side of you have a lot more information and you're doing it maybe with less people or different people, but how's that impacting the performance of the agents and the people that you're onboarding, whether it's new training, new staff, or it's people that have already been there? I think it's it, a chunk of it is what you just referred to is how can you identify where an agent needs more training or where an agent is the wrong person to be doing the job or maybe the right person to be doing the job. So you can see where situations can get tense where customer sentiment goes negative and how the agent handles it. How does the agent treat the customer? How does the agent respond and hopefully resolve? Did the agent resolve? Is the agent's training or lack of training reflective in what is going on and taking place during the interaction? With the technology, you can leverage and, and analyze all that. By the way, one thing that I've been thinking about and, and what we're developing around lately is that Traditionally, I believe the QA exercise has been a gotcha exercise. It's been a, we're going to catch the agent screwing up. We're going to catch the agent and punish them. We're going to find where the agent is a dumbass, excuse the expression, and try to catch them and, and, and prove to them and make it a humiliating exercise for the agent and show them where they screwed up because we got it on tape and here we're going to catch them. I think that the with the new technology, we need to be able to use the technology to actually leverage and analyze voice of agent as well as customer experience or, or, or voice of customer. So the, the exercise typically has been to see what's happening for the customer, but let's flip it and actually see what's happening for the agent. What is the agent experience? Utilizing the technology, you can start to hear what is the agent sentiment? Where is the agent demonstrating stress? fatigue, ignorance, frustration. If you can pinpoint and create data around those, all of a sudden you can improve the agent experience. You know where the difficult parts of a conversation or interaction are, not just in the agent's training, but also the tools that the agent is using. So if you can find and show data that at, at a specific point in a call, an agent is taking longer to respond, putting the customer on hold, uh, not being able to resolve, the, the duration is longer. You can start to make determinations like, wait a minute, maybe there's a silo. Maybe the information isn't readily available. Maybe the tool or tools themselves or itself are bad or incomplete, or the training on those are incomplete. And you could start to glean insights for what the agent is going through. And all of a sudden you realize, wait a minute, this wasn't only the fact of a um, of of just a bad agent. It's not just a bad agent. There's actually process and technology behind the scenes that we can also optimize and improve and fix things. And all that trickles down directly or indirectly to customer experience. So I think you have to, as we as an organization, we have to get smarter and figure out how to leverage these things, know what we can use them for, and turn it around and not just use them as a gotcha exercise. But start to point the finger at us and say, wait a minute, the tools we're providing are not adequate yet. And here's where they're not adequate and why they're not adequate. And we can prove it. 